Hi everyone, welcome to another California Time and today we are testing out this new Outdoor Revolution self-inflating mattress. So this self-inflating mattress is really special. It's 112 centimeters wide by 180 long, which is exactly the right size to fit in a camper van. So whether you've got a uh, rib bed, so a conversion with a, uh, with a specific convertible bed in with the kitchen and everything, or whether you've got something like a Volkswagen California like we have, this self-inflating mattress is designed to be the perfect fit for it. It's also got the cut-off corner as well, uh, which is really important, and it's also reversible. So it's got the same surface on both sides. So you might think if you've got a California, obviously the kitchen's on the passenger side in the UK, and that means you need the cutout on the driver's side, because that's the way that the mattress are going, and that's where it's squared off at the back. If you've got a conversion, you've probably got the kitchen on the driver's side, and if you've got it on the driver's side, that means you want the cutout on the passenger side. This having a reversible nature means that you can just turn it over and you've got the cutout on whichever side you need. And that is slightly different to some of the other ones that are on the market. Now, importantly, we're gonna be comparing it to our tried and tested C to Summit. Um, so this is a C to Summit Comfort Deluxe camper van self-inflating mattress. And it's the camper van one with the cutout on. The reason this is important and it's a really critical test for us is because C to Summit have discontinued that one. So you can't actually buy it anymore. And we did a video on it, uh, which if you check out up there, you'll be able to see it. But actually you can almost disregard that video unless you're looking for one second hand because you can't buy them anymore. So sorry about that. What you can do though, is you can have a look at this new one. Uh, so. We're really lucky to be uh, testing this out. Uh, camper van bits have supplied this one to us so we can give it a go. Uh, we're planning a trip away. Um, it's uh, Easter time, so we've got a bit of time on our hands to be able to give it a proper test. So we're gonna go and give it a test. We'll be able to give you our honest opinion compared to the C to Summit. It is actually two centimeters thicker. So the Outdoor Revolution is 12 centimeters when it's inflated. The C to Summit is 10 centimetres when it's inflated. I think physically, size-wise, in terms of the way that they fit, they're probably quite similar. What we have already done is we have tried deflating the, uh, uh, obviously the uh, Camp Star from, Outwell, uh, from Outdoor Revolution, that's the, one, the new one that we're testing. We've tried deflating that and putting it in the roof of the California. So we've taken the normal California mattress out of the roof We've put this one in deflated and we shut the roof, no problem whatsoever. We've left it deflated for a couple of days, driven round. Uh, it's got hot, it's got cold, it's been near on freezing overnight and it's been up to 19 during the day. So some reasonable temperature extremes. Opened the roof last night, no problem whatsoever. It hasn't kind of self-inflated, the valves haven't leaked. There's no problem with leaving it up there whatsoever from what we can see. So if you're looking for a place to store it, as long as you flatten it out a little bit, you'll be able to leave it in the, uh, in the roof space upstairs. So top marks for that. In terms of physical size, obviously you can uh, have a look for yourselves and uh, see how it sits in the back here. Uh, what we've done with our C to Summit in terms of storing in the back here, we've deflated it, we held it deflated with the valves closed, we put it in its stuff sack, which is very hard actually with the, out with the C to Summit. It, you have to kind of squeeze, really squeeze it in because it's a bit of a compression sack. Then we've taken the valves out because it says that you shouldn't leave the valve shut on the C to Summit. Uh, so that's as big as it's ever gonna be uh, in the bag. It's not gonna expand any further because it's uh, right at the limit. Um, the Outdoor Revolution is slightly different. So uh, this isn't a compression bag and probably as you can see here, there's plenty of kind of spare uh, material when you put it into the bag. Uh, that makes it easy to put in the bag, but I would say it's probably very slightly bigger um, when you put it in the boot here. So it's not, it's not massive, and depending on which way you have it up, it's not huge in terms of difference, but you'll see from the footage that it is a little bit bigger. There's no doubt about that. So if you didn't want to store it upstairs in the roof, or you wanted to keep your original California mattress up there 
and have this one on top, which would probably equate to probably near on 15, 16 centimetres worth of mattress up there, uh, which is a lot, <laughs> um, then you could do. Uh, there's no problem in doing that from what I can see, but obviously you're gonna have to store it in the back here. We think it's a real advantage of being able to store this up the top because it just leaves a lot of this area free at the back here for when you want to get the bed out, put the chaise out. Uh, if you've got a 6.1, anything like that it makes it really nice and straightforward. Obviously you might have a conversion which doesn't have a pop top yet or anything like that, but you've got a rib bed in the back. Obviously you can keep it in the back, you can put it underneath. Uh, it's, a, a, it's a small enough size. It does come with a couple of elastic straps. They're not compression straps, they're just elastic straps, but they do help hold it in the bag when you're, um, or, or hold, hold it together when you're just putting it in the bag. So no, um, no particular uh, issues with any of that. What we found we were doing with the Sea to Summit sometimes if we were on a trip and we wanted to compress it down and then use it the next day, compress it down, use it on the next day, we actually bought a couple of compression straps. So you use them on backpacks and those kind of things um, just to save us having to try and wrestle it into the Sea to Summit bag every day because it gets quite tiresome if you have to do that. Right, so uh, I think the first few tests that we want to do with this uh, before we get away at the weekend to give them a proper try, I think the first few tests are you probably need to see how they inflate. Um, need to show you the valves on both of these because they are quite different. And I have to say I prefer the Outdoor Revolution ones already. So we'll show you the valves, show you a bit of time lapse video about how they inflate, how quick. Uh, we'll put the Outdoor Revolution out in the bottom here in the van. We'll do the same with the Sea to Summit so you'll be able to see the differences in the heights and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, then we'll pop the, seat, the Outdoor Revolution upstairs so you can see what it looks like inflated in the roof. That's a, a good thing for you to see so you can see how much it fills to the edge of the uh, roof space in the California. Because uh, that's been a question on a few of them um, before with the Sea to Summit and some of the other mattresses can feel a little bit too small for upstairs. So we'll have a look at that. Uh, the other thing that we've figured out as well is uh, a small double fitted sheet is perfect if you're trying to fit one to the Outdoor Revolution. So we went to Dunelm, we spent our 11 pounds or whatever it was on a cotton fitted sheet. Uh, it's quite good because it's got elastic all the way around it, which helps it stay on. Um, and um, yeah, it fits it absolute treat. So a small double technically is 120 centimeters wide. This is 112, so not too far out. And obviously uh, it, um, fits it uh, fits it well. So. Let's crack on. Uh, I'll get these both out. I'll get them inflated uh, or let them self inflate so you can see physically how quickly they change and uh, how they inflate. We'll get them in the van and uh, let's get cracking. Right then, let's get these unpacked. So, uh, very straightforward on the uh, Sea to Summit. So, what I'm going to do just before I do this is I'm going to put the valves back in because actually, what I don't want to do um, is let it self inflate because I want to time that happening. So just got one of the valves there. So just oh, find the other one. You can see how awkward this is considering they tell you not to leave the valves um, done up. And they say that on the Sea to Summit because they don't want the valves to misshape and then leak but it isn't half difficult. So with this then, so you've just got to try and prise it out of the stuff sack. So you can see it's quite, actually quite tricky. Uh, so just working it through. Oh, right, get rid of that. And then we've got one seat to summit mattress. Uh, so you can see how compressed that is there, like that. So, outdoor revolution then. See how quick we can get this one open. So... How about that? Is that a little bit better? That's a repair kit, by the way, for that. Um, so you can see here it's got these couple of elastic -y strips, so we can grab those, get rid of those. And then, turn this round. 
there we go so that is the two out so believe it or not it's chucked it down yesterday just as i was about to inflate the mattresses but managed to get them all inside in time so it's the next day it's dry hopefully we can get it done this time so let's crack on so we're going to inflate these now i'm going to try and remove the valves so they self inflate as quickly as possible to try and give it a fair test between them so you can see how quick they go up okay let's have a little bit of a walk around then after these first few minutes so which one are you thinking that you'd like to uh, sleep on the uh, sea to summit is definitely longer you see the, uh, the extra little bit of length at the end there. However, if I go down here, you can see that it's not really expanded to the same degree yet. So I think uh, definitely, uh, definitely worth just giving these a bit of a shake and a bit of help just to see whether we can get them inflated a little bit more. Let's just give these a bit of a shake. I will show you these valves a bit later because they're quite... Uh, impressive so the uh, the valves in the uh, outdoor revolution and the sea to summit it's one big chamber so although it's got two valves you actually only ever need to use one if you don't want to use both it just allows you to put it up and put it down a little bit easier so uh, so this uh, see that this outdoor revolution is getting nice and firm uh, it's done that all by itself. I haven't really done anything with this one particularly. Uh, so I can uh, just do these valves up and then we can top that up later if we need to. But that's effectively that pretty much inflated. Now, unfortunately, the Cita Summit is looking a little bit sad and a little bit sorry for itself in comparison. You can see it really... <laughs> It's, uh, it's probably only about half the uh, half the depth of the Outdoor Revolution one so far. So uh, we're going to have to do a bit of work with this one. So I'll pop one of the valves in. And I'm just going to go and get a pump so we can expand this one out a little bit more. Just topped up the Outdoor Revolution as well. Interestingly, on the Outdoor Revolution, it's actually slightly easier to do the uh, topping up because there's a valve which is in there it actually rotates around I will show you in a bit more detail but when you use a pump like this this little rubber on the front here you can just put it over the valve there turn it on and it goes straight in no messing about and then it's a one-way valve anyway so you don't have to hurry too much you can put that on there and then job done should we see how these go in then? Oh, so this is the uh, outdoor revolution. Probably easier to inflate it with it already in the van and to get it the right way around. Cut off corner, not on that side. Oh. I'll tell you what, this would give everyone a laugh on a campsite, wouldn't it? So there we go so that is how it fits in there so you can see on this corner here obviously this is the cutout side sitting nice and easily in the uh, in the back there uh, valves on the back uh, which i don't think is a problem some people don't like them on the back i think it's fine uh, if you're inside and you want to roll this up or anything you can uh, fold it up and do it from the inside don't see that as a particular issue uh, nice rounded corners. You can see how deep that mattress is. It is huge. And then uh, from around this side, uh, I will show you how far it comes down on the bottom bed, but uh, effectively it's massive. It's so thick and interesting. If you want to, feels, if I was going to sleep on this on my own, it feels a bit, a bit hard now. So what you can do is you can open this up and you can just let a tiny bit of air out just to let it get a bit softer because actually 
Um, maybe a bit hard still. That's probably about right. So you can just adjust the valve, screw it back up again. Oh, yes, perfect. Right, so the next test for this then has got to be in the roof upstairs. So let's get the roof up and then somehow I'm going to try and manhandle this up there. Now there's clearly going to be a far, far easier way of doing, the, doing this than the way that I'm about to do it. However, we have a big hole in the front of our canvas because we're lucky enough to have one of these ones with the zip out front. So to save me deflating this, putting it up there and then inflating it again, you know what I'm going to do, don't you? Let's give it a go. So... I'm trying to be sensible by having the valves on this end, not the other end, because I definitely don't want to scratch the paint. So get it on top of that. Can I get it through there? Oh, it's looking good. So can I slide it in from there? That is the question. Let's have a look. Yes, I can. Right, so just in terms of how this fits, hopefully you can see that. Uh, obviously super chunky mattress there. And if I just show you, you can see there it's really nice and tight to the edge there. Very similar over this side as well. Just show you, I'm not, uh, not a huge amount of distance at all on the, uh, on the way that it looks so i think this is a really uh really suitable mattress for upstairs in the california i know what you've all been waiting for you've all been waiting to see how i deflate this and then leave it up here so let me get the camera set up then i'm going to crawl about on it to get it deflated and we'll take it from there so I said I'd show you how these valves work uh, on this Outdoor Revolution. So first of all, you've got this kind of outer disc which you open and uh, inside here, you see that this, this edge here has got a uh, rubber seal in. Uh, so that's good at just sealing against the outer here. Then there's this kind of flip valve inside and it actually says inflate. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Probably can't focus on it. Uh, it says inflate uh, on the rubber, on that uh, yellow rubber inside. And this actually swivels round. So if I push it, you can see there, it's just swiveled round. And if I, it's got a, a rubber edge to it, which seals. And if I push it all the way around again, it just kind of clicks nicely into place. And that says deflate now. Uh, and what that is, is a one way valve, which means that when you uh, push this down and deflate it, it stays deflated. So you're not trying to fight to get the valves in and out all the time. Uh, it's really handy. And then obviously when you want to seal it in that particular position, you can do so by just closing this up, screwing the cap on, job done. If you want to inflate it, you can just pop the valve around to inflate and then either blow into here, use a pump onto here in the way that we did earlier on. And then jobs are good. Uh, off we go. So to deflate it in prep, I'm just going to turn that valve around. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other one. And then on I get. Here I am. And you can hear the air starting to come out already. And then what I've seen people do is try to fold it in half. And you can hear all that air coming out just as we are filming this. So there we go. There's a lot of, a lot of air which we've just managed to get out of that. You can still see there's a reasonable amount at the bottom where I've not got my whole body weight on. So... 
again, what I've seen people do is kind of give it a, a bit of a fold into three. And again, give it a bit of that. Now we can do the valves up. And then we should be able to just roll it back out. Set it to be nice and wide in here. Like so. <laughs> and that is now deflated enough to put the roof down. Super simple, nice and easy. You could always take it downstairs if you wanted to and roll it up and put it in its bag. But I think, actually, that's not bad at all, considering it's 12 centimetres deep. All we've got to do now is go camping. Right, so we're off on our quick camping trip away. Got one night at Smithy Fields campsite. If you haven't seen that video, we have been there before. It's a brilliant campsite. Uh, really nice kind of toilet facilities, showers, right in the middle of uh, Derbyshire. Fantastic walks around there. Uh, definitely worth a watch. If you haven't seen that before, have a look up there. You'll be able to see it. Uh, and then we've got a night at a pub stopover uh, in Calver. Uh, so looking forward to that, not been to that one before. Got it out of Brit Stops. We're gonna do a video about Brit Stops uh, in case you haven't heard of it. Uh, it's fantastic, Google it, and then uh, like I say, we'll do a video. But we're on the way, so uh, let's see how we get on with this new Outdoor Revolution mattress. getting ready uh, let me show you how things are going up here uh, we've got the fitted bottom sheet uh, from the small double on it now uh, it's a really good fit up here uh, it's doesn't fill the entire length so your feet might dangle off the bottom a little bit I think it's 180 maybe 183 184 long uh, I'm 186 so we'll see how we get on in the night with that uh, width wise there's only about probably two centimeters either side of this before it touches the isotop that we've got fitted in here so uh, looking good with that so far uh, with the fitted sheet on and everything uh, when we get into bed we'll uh, adjust the valves a little bit see we've blown it up quite hard to start with so we can then uh, let a bit of air out if it's too hard when we're both on it and then um, yeah we'll report back in the morning and we'll let you know how we get on we're in and it's very comfortable actually. Uh, we've let a little bit of air out because it felt a little bit too hard to start with. And I think, I was just talking to Sarah, I think this feels more like a normal mattress than the Cedar Summit. I tend to sleep on my side and if I'm not careful, I tend to get um, kind of a dead arm halfway through the night, that kind of thing. So if the mattress is a bit too thin or I've pumped it up too hard etc it just I can end up just getting a bit of a dead it's arm. It's a proper princess. So <laughs> uh, actually the, the extra couple of centimeters on this one um, on first impressions and obviously I haven't gone to sleep yet but on first impression it does feel like it should be a little bit better so um, I think for me the only crossed. downside is the actually getting up here yeah. because you've got a much thicker mattress being short i find it a little tricky to get up here anyway it's, in terms of the, the distance to try and climb from the from when you put yeah. your foot on the, the top quite, of the seat yeah it's a bit extra isn't it to yeah. try and get up there this is the morning after a cup of tea uh, and all of the um <laughs> coffee and everything else so just about awake again we we like it uh, we think it's good. Uh, we definitely prefer the valves on this particular mattress to the Cedar Summit. That, the fact that you can spin them round either way and screw them tight shut 
gave us real confidence overnight it wasn't going to deflate and I think that's a really good thing. Equally when you've deflated it and you want it to stay deflated you know it's going to stay nice and nice and flat if you're going to store it in the roof upstairs because there has been one or two occasions where the sea to summit overnight it's felt as though it's just kind of deflated slightly and then in the morning uh, or, or when we've uh, stored it up there compressed for a few days we've opened the roof and thought that's definitely got more air in than when we deflated it so uh, yeah definitely more confidence with that uh, found it really warm up there which I think is just a combination of having a too heavy a weight duvet and we have the heatron for the dog downstairs and all that sort of stuff but it's not nothing to do with the mattress really uh, in terms of comfort we probably pumped it up a little bit too hard uh, I did have a bit of a dead arm in the night, so I had to turn over. Sarah was the same. So tonight, when we sleep downstairs, we're going to just uh, let a bit of air out of it, make sure it's not quite as um, not quite as hard. We did put extra air in after letting it self-inflate. So tonight, I think we might start off by just letting it self-inflate, screw the valve shut, see how we get on. Uh, but so far, so good. It's uh, it's a winner. So night two is complete downstairs and it's good, uh, really good actually. Uh, it's uh, slightly, we, we inflate a bit, a little bit less and it's definitely better for that. One thing we have noticed is in the California where you've got the um, overhead kind of locker, which is just up here, um, actually it's quite tricky uh, sometimes to Get, in, get into bed because with another 12 centimeters of mattress it does raise you up quite a bit so I, I don't know if you can see just up here so there's not a huge amount of space uh, when you've got it set up like that so yeah bit a uh, bit tricky there but I, nothing to worry about at all really it's absolutely fine so yeah uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to deflate it down here as well of course uh, just because we can uh, fold it over, roll it up and do all of that sort of stuff. We'll do that, we'll put it back upstairs and then it's away again ready for its next trip. So I think in comparison to the Sea to Summit, Sarah and I were talking about this yesterday, I think the reality is the Outdoor Revolution wins in our mind. Uh, which is amazing really because the Sea to Summit we thought was the one couldn't be bettered but actually this is super comfortable even better the valves are even better a couple of centimeters thicker still can be stored upstairs uh, and it's cheaper as well uh, so uh, I think I think it's 139.99 um, I'll put it just on the uh, on the clip here so you can see I know camper van bits on their website have got them in stock now so definitely worth checking them out uh, big thank you to them for loaning us this one so we could have a go. Hopefully this kind of comparison is helpful for you. Uh, if it is, please like and subscribe this video and we'll see you again soon for some more California time.